Hey fellow tennis nerds and welcome to this classic racket review of the Prince Diablo Tour Mid. There are many classic rackets that can still be used successfully today. This racket is one of those. I'd heard good things about it but never got to try it before. Around the same time I was about to review the mid-size new Prince Phantoms, the 93P. I saw an ad for two Diablos online. I do have enough rackets to play with, but I just couldn't pass on the opportunity to try this legendary frame. They both came strong with natural gut, but the tension was a bit too high and the strings were old. Made the racket feel a bit board-like and unresponsive, so the first hit I wasn't really taken by it. But when I restrung one of them with string project magic, which is a kind of a mix of a poly and a multi-filament string, that I really like at around 23-24 kilos or 52 um, pounds. Uh, I took it to the court, it was a completely different experience from the first hit, I understood what people were talking about. The racket really has P for plow through, despite my uh, specs of 345 grams strung, 32 centimeter or 7 points headlight and at 336 swing weight. They do sound heavy, but this racket knifed through the air uh, quite quickly thanks to the 19 millimeter thin beam. So when you hit the ball with this racket, it has a beautiful pancake effect, reminiscent of the Wilson Pro Staff 85, but the 93 square inches give you a bit more real estate than that classic from Wilson. I also really enjoy the 1620 string pattern on this racket. It makes me wonder why they don't make one 93P and just do it in the 1620 pattern instead of one 1820 and one 1418. This racket is simply brilliant if you're an attacking player really gives you a, a nice plow through on your serve, on your slice and on your attacking shots. On defense, like with pretty much any mid, uh, it's a bit more uh, cumbersome, it's a bit more tricky to get good depth on your defensive strokes. That's where the issue is, but when you're buying a mid-size racket you know what you're getting. This is an attacking weapon, this is about hitting a big serve, going for the win in 3-4 strokes. And for that kind of game this racket really delivers. So I'm quite taken with this frame, it's perhaps a bit too demanding to switch to, but when you're in the groove, it's one of the best rackets I've used in a long time. The listed specs, it's a standard length of 27 inches, 93 square inch head size, that's 600 square centimeters, 12.2 ounces or 346 grams strong. It has a 31 centimeter balance, which is nine points head light. So the 90 millimeter beam, I think is a, it's a bit of a, better choice than the thinner beam on the 93 piece and the string pattern of 1620 I think is an improvement as well. So this one is a great classic that can still be used today, still competes really well with the Phantom 93 piece. It has a slightly higher stiffness rating so you get a bit more free power. A little bit tougher on the arm perhaps for some players. I did not notice any real discomfort but that could be an issue if you have arm issues and it is quite heavy to swing so the phantoms are a little bit easier to use but when you're in the groove when you're playing well and when you're really feeling the ball this racket is even better than those rackets in my opinion so a beautiful frame the prince diablo tour mid really enjoyed play testing it and um, it's nice to get an old classic and really see that, that the hype is real and that it really is an excellent frame. Uh, so I'm really happy with this one. Uh, really nice to have two rackets that I can play around with when inspiration strikes. So the Prince Diablo Tour mid, two thumbs up, really fun racket. Uh, might not be for everyone because it's a heavy mid-size frame, but it's a classic for a reason. Uh, does most things well for attacking players and you can really hit some heavy winners with this racket. So uh, another classic racket. If you have any ideas on other classic rackets I should try and look into and review, please comment below. Any like, share and subscribe to the channel is much much appreciated. If you need help finding a racket that suits you, check out my racket consultation service on tennisnerd.net slash shop. Also if you want more tennis nerd content, consider becoming a Patreon at patreon.com slash tennis nerd. It's only two bucks a month and you get exclusive content every week. And please also check out Tennis Nerd Insta on Instagram where you get new posts almost every day. And uh, that's about it for now. Stay home, stay safe, and if you can, play some tennis.
Thank you.